How many of you know what the original rideshare trade dress was and which company implemented it? Uh, today we're going to go over the evolution of rideshare trade dress for both Lyft and Uber. So back when I became a rideshare driver six years ago, trade dress was not required. Rideshare was a new thing. Um, city requirements were just not in place yet. They were still trying to iron out those details. But Lyft actually created the first trade dress without it needing to be required. And do you know what it was? It was this pink car stash. So Lyft vehicles drove around with these pink mustaches on them. Um, mine is clean. I never put it on my vehicle. I always thought it was a silly thing. Um, I actually, they sent out these like cuddle stash as they called, I would put this on my dashboard instead. I just didn't want to be driving around with a pink mustache on my car. But yeah, this was essentially the first trade dress that either Lyft or Uber used. But when you think about those car stashes, it was a pretty cool idea. It was a good marketing idea. It's a good way for to get people talking about Lyft. They're seeing a bunch of these cars with these pink mustaches on them and they're wondering what what is this and then in about mid to late 2014 both lyft and uber were, were required to start displaying actual trade dress and here's a look at the original trade dress emblems uh, they were both square clean i mean the uber one really didn't say uber on it but a lot of people knew what uber was at that time this logo was very recognizable and lyft was really straightforward it was pink it had the lyft logo on it so those were the original required trade dress that drivers had and then in 2015 piggy backing on the car stash lyft introduced the glow stash so it was this pink glow stash you put it on your dash this is great for nighttime pickups much easier for passengers to identify vehicles but this was the original glow up trade dress from either lyft or uber all right so then in early 2016 uber rebranded uh which was a huge mistake it just it was ridiculous it was this bits and atoms concept that travis kalanick the former ceo had had thought of here's a look at what that emblem looked like it was this backward c they also changed the app icons so when people were opening their apps that morning when they changed the logo they were wondering like where did my uber app go instead it was just this backward c logo but yeah that logo was a terrible idea and i'm glad it wasn't around for long then in late 2016 lyft introduced their next light up sign they went from the the glow stash to the amp so they sent these amps to, to drivers um, basically these amps will light up different colors and coordinate with the passengers app and right around that time uber introduced their own light up sign called the beacon the beacon was a cool idea but it was still using that bits and atoms logo but these light up signs were a really cool idea especially for nighttime pickups it makes it much more easy for passengers to identify vehicles all right and around that time as well lyft developed their current sticker which is still in place today Really clean. I love this sticker. I think it's a great idea. Just the white with the Lyft logo. It's very easy to identify. And then shortly thereafter, Uber got rid of the Bits and Atoms logo and then went to their own clean design. I really like both of these emblems. They're just straightforward, clean, really good designs. All right, then in late 2019, Uber introduced their Beacon 2.0. This was introduced. I'm not sure how many of these have been actually deployed out to drivers. I think they're finally starting to roll them out now. It's really similar to the Lyft amp in that it lights up in front and has messages on the back, but this is the latest evolution in rideshare trade dress. So there's the evolution of rideshare trade dress. Um, the, again, the current ones are these stickers. I see a lot of drivers still driving around with the old trade dress. It kind of annoys me. You can get these new stickers for free and we'll leave links in the description where you can get those. Also with the Lyft amp and the Uber Beacon 2.0, um, the Lyft amp has requirements in certain markets that you have to meet. You can look in your driver app to see what those requirements are. As far as the Beacon 2.0, currently it's only being given to select Uber Pro Platinum and Diamond drivers in Chicago, Denver, Vegas, Washington DC, and Houston. But what do you guys think of all this trade dress, all these emblems? Which one's your favorite? Do you have all these? Have you been with Lyft since the beginning like me and have every single one of the Lyft ones? Uh, leave a comment below and let us know. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe and drive safe. Thanks.